Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to change out your defrost board in your unit like the one you see right here. I got the exact model board and there it is. There's the defrost board made by Duquesne right there. Part number in case you guys have the same exact unit. I'll show you the brand of it. Airflow. Apparently it's made by Linux, but that's the brand of the unit. So if your house is built in like 2004, it might be it might use this unit. And the problem you may want to replace the board with is these relays right here. These relays can go bad. So first first thing you want to do is go to your disconnect box or your breaker box, which in my case is a disconnect. Pull your disconnect out. Because this is 240 you're working with. And also too, there's 24 volts going down here, so I had to go out to the breaker panel and shut the air handler off because they're on separate circuits. So I'll stop here and show you guys the breakers. Okay, YouTubers, so here's the breaker right here for AH, which stands for the air handler. In my house, there's two air conditioning units. This goes to this side of the house, and this one goes to the side where the big unit's off at. So I'm gonna shut that off like that. You don't need to shut the AC number two off because it's already very disconnected from the power. So I'll show you the thermostat to see if it's on or off. Okay, so there's no power at the thermostat. Nothing showing up. This is self-powered from the air handler. It's all off. It's ready to go. Okay, YouTubers, so I got all the power off here. Now, you want to double check your power. And the way to check to see if this board has power is there's a C screw right there or an R screw right there. There's both screws here. You're going to get your test probes. Stick the black one on the C, which stands for common. And then R for red. We have nothing because obviously this board's not connected. But it's the same thing like this one down here. So you're going to want to check those two. And the next part is you got to take pictures of this board. Like how the wires are all wired up. And then get some scotch tape and a sharpie. Not a Crayola marker. Not a highlighter. A sharpie. And this, get this scotch tape. Just a basic old green scotch tape and label your wires wherever plug it's on so label it exactly as these connectors are don't change them because you're going to end up frying something in here by doing that and also too keep track of your thermostat wires so i'm going to take some pictures real quick and i'll show you guys some screenshots of it in the video editing software so now label all these wires which will take a few minutes remember have patience with this kind of stuff and if you don't know what you're doing don't do this at all leave that up to a professional if you don't know what you're doing so i'll be right back when i'm done labeling all these wires okay so i labeled my wires by what connector the board has there's LPS1. So this one, there's an LPS1. Right here. And depending on where that wire goes, so LPS1 is right here. That's where these two yellow wires will go, right there. And HPS2 has this jumper, this pink jumper wire. So it will go right between these two connectors here. And obviously your thermostat wire will go on the bottom. The C wire in my case is brown. 
yours might be blue it just depends on whoever your insulator was that put your AC in place R is going to be red Y is going to be yellow O is going to be orange which in my case this is a heat pump system and W is usually a white wire and they're all located down there so I'm going to start off by disconnecting this there's no voltage present There is no voltage present on this unit. So. And I'll lower this tripod so you guys can see a little better. So I want you guys to be able to see this. And this box right here is just a capacitor that's been replaced previously. So we got all this spaghetti factory of wires here. So there's five wires here for the thermostat. Get your Phillips screwdriver, unscrew them. Here's your thermostat wire right there. And those are the colors I was talking to you about. This is the common. That's star hot. This is the compressor. This orange is the heat pump. And then this white is our heater. So now, you just put that to the side. And now, time for the main part. Disconnecting all these wires. So I already got these labeled, so we're just gonna gently pull these connectors out. You might have to tug on them a little bit. And I'll leave that jumper in place and transfer it on the new board. There we go, got that one out. Now, my bottom connectors. Boards may be real dirty, so watch out there. And this is these two black thick wires down here are the reversing valve. Hook them up the right way according to how your unit had them hooked up on that board. So now we're gonna get our screwdriver. You could either get a bolt screwdriver, which in my case, that's what this unit has. This one has four screws. It depends on what manufacturer you have. Two on the top, two at the bottom. I got the board removed. Take this off the tripod. There's a comparison of the two boards. Look at those resistors. Look at how smoking hot they were over the years. Compared to this new board, they're exactly the same board, made by the same brand, same model. But this one has a jumper. So now we're going to transfer that jumper over. This is HPS2, so we're going to transfer it to these two right here. So, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to stop the video here and pull this out and move it there. And then screw the new board in just the same way how you took this board out. You put this new one in the same way. And I'll connect all the wires back in place according to how they were labeled. So, see you. 
Okay, so I got my jumper all set up here. Now, remember how I said this brown is our common? That's going to go to our C terminal right here. I'm going to tighten down our Phillips screw. Maybe a little stubborn at first, and make sure too to keep the insulation out of the screw so your copper wire can make make a great contact on that board. You want it to make contact. Otherwise, something bad's gonna happen. Here's our red wire that goes to R. That's our 24 volt power source getting entered into the board from the air handler. Back up in the attic. Got wire right here, which is the condensing unit. That's what shuts the contactor on. I got an O wire. That's gonna go. That's orange wire is gonna go to O because it's orange and it's for the heat pump. And obviously, last but not least, our W wire, which is white. And we just tuck that back there, just the way how it was. Now, you gotta dig all your spaghetti factory wires out. And see how I labeled them? So we have a CCY out. So CC is gonna go right up here. CCY out. That'll go at the top. And then this one. We got a CCG Y out. That goes to our contactor. CCG. Right there. HPS1 wasn't used. So now we got C, C, O, and D. Number one. So number one was right here, which I actually numbered it. Number one is right here on the left. So number one is going to go right here. Right above this big relay right here. And C, C, O, N, D. Number two. It's to the right of that connector there. I'm sorry that this camera won't focus, but it's right here at this, the second plug. So we're going to plug into our second plug right here. And now we got LPS1. So LPS1 is right here. And I actually numbered this just to be safe. Not this one, but there's one and two right there. And it's right next to the jumper that I put, the pink jumper wire. So number one, so get number one. Here's number one right here yellow wire and number one's gonna go right here I have to get it in there real good and LPS one number two we'll go right here and now we have the defrost thermostat so double check defrost step so, and this one you can actually hook it up however way you want it because it's a switch. So here's that one right there. I'm gonna get this out of the way because you don't want to bend them down. Now, this is the reversing valve right here. You have a hot and a common. That's a critical part of your heat pump system. So we got a hot. Here's the side I'm looking at right here. This left ones are hot, and the right ones are common. So we got a hot right here. We're gonna put it to the at the left one. 
And here's our common right here. It will go right here at the bottom. Double check you have all your connectors. And then obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna test this in a little bit as soon as I put that capacitor back in this box, which I actually it's actually a good thing for the capacitor because then if you don't have a right size clamp for that, just put it in the box to house it. Make sure your contactors clear from the top because that's our compressor so there we go you guys there's the board in so now i gotta shut the power on and test to see if this unit's running so i'll get back to you when the unit's running okay youtubers so i turned the thermostat on wait five minutes and this kicked right on and man this thing sounds a lot better with the new defrost board in place right there air handlers kicking on the problem with this unit was it was kicking on but the air handler wasn't kicking on and this this kept on shutting on and off just like every 30 40 seconds this would kick on then kick off and then kick on and then kick off because there's a defrost switch on this and it probably was tripping the, the contactor and i know it wasn't this contactor because i just replaced it like three four months ago when that went bad during a heat wave but that's how you install a duquesne defrost board in an airflow unit made in 2004 so i hope so i hope you guys like this video and subscribe